Number nine, Folky has a question. How do I go about searching the scriptures to help me find a solution or to come to a decision in an area of my life? Well, Folky, what I'm going to suggest is a bunch of things real quick. Here's my, here's my speedy rundown of several issues that may or may not relate to you personally. So just, just know I'm just throwing out advice and you can consider what applies to your situation. Um, one, I don't usually go to the Bible to find out specifically what I'm supposed to do with, with very specific scenarios in life. Like I just got a car. What car should I buy? I, I, I don't, I don't, this first time I've got a car since like 2009, I think. And, um, uh, it was time. <laughs> so, so I don't go to the Bible to look at what kind of car I should get. Instead, I look for biblical principles to help guide me in making good choices. So for instance, guard your heart against covetousness. That's a biblical principle. So as I'm looking for a car, I'm, I'm, I'm aware that my heart can run away in wanting something better and bigger and nicer and fancier. I'm also aware that I'm supposed to be a good steward. I'm supposed to handle money responsibly. So I need to look at our budget and consider if what we can afford and can't afford. I'm also aware that Proverbs just teaches us to be walking in wisdom. I should not buy a car that's just going to break down. I shouldn't buy a car that's going to be some problems later on or doesn't fit our life situation. Anyway, I, I, I'm, I'm looking for principles in scripture that will help me make good decisions moving forward. So that helps me and guides me. That's what I would encourage you to look for is principles, not clear direction about specific choices. Not that God won't ever give you that. But here's the problem with God always gives me that. And this is just my personal understanding. Because I used to want God to guide every choice. Because I thought if God would guide every choice, then every choice is perfect. And I'm, I mean, now I'm, I know I'm in the right path because God told me to do this. And maybe that means I'll have more success in those things. But what kind of a wisdomless and nervous person would I become if I never learned to make choices based on principles? I'll never be wise because I'll never be deciding. I mean, even with marriage, you pray about who to marry. God may or may not tell you that person. But even if he doesn't say that's the girl or that's the guy, you should be able to make wise choices to discern character and relationship and direction and all these different things, you know, that are important. Are they a believer? Are we like-minded? Are we equally yoked? These kinds of questions. That is, in a sense, makes you a stronger person and a more full person than getting clear answers. Do this, do that. So if you're looking for wisdom, read Proverbs. If you're looking to watch out for the pulling of the flesh, read what Galatians says about the works of the flesh are these and make sure, Hey, am I decision? Are, are, are these, you know, are these things guiding me, influencing me, um, get counsel. Proverbs says there's wisdom in a multitude of counselors. So get advice from a few people. Anytime you're making big life choices, get some advice from a few people. It will change your future. And I think then we become, um, stronger, godlier people when we're not like every choice God has to tell me specifically what to do. Um, that's not a healthy way to be.